now joining us in the studio is Moshe Kanter, President of the European Jewish Congress, who comes to us directly from the Foreign Ministry's Anti-Semitism Conference. Mr. Kanter, thank you so much for being our guest. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello to you. Well, since you've just come from the conference, tell us about it. How worried are you, as the leader of European Jewry, about anti-Semitism? Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a very strong issue, because anti-Semitism today is growing everywhere in the world. And I can tell you that the number of neo-Nazis today, together with skinheads and all, all other supporters, are close to the number of Jews in Europe. And you know, That's it's a terrifying a, statistic. Of course, of course, you know. And in Eastern European countries and Western European countries and Central European countries, are, are, the situation is absolutely the same. And does anti-Israel sentiment go together with the anti-Semitism? In some countries, yes, especially in Western European countries. Because the reason of anti-Semitism in Eastern European countries are mainly xenophobic. But in Western European countries, with the, the big, big uh, majority of Islamic population, they, we have this, this trend, and this trend is very strong. And this conference uh, just now, which is called the Global Forum of Antisemitism, is a very, very important and actual event. And I can tell you uh, what is really uh, make me happy. I saw there a lot of non-Jewish faces. This is extremely important uh, moment because we have to involve as much as possible non-Jewish street to our uh, problems because we have to understand one thing. Antisemitism is not a Jewish disease. It's a disease of the mentality, of the common mentality and we in diaspora are living everywhere. And I can say you that we have a very important success in European Jewish Congress. We succeeded to, to fix a special council of patience, wisdom, and tolerance. And with the prominent figures, non-Jewish origin, former leaders of the countries, mm -hmm. best intellectuals, scientists, and etc. Well, that's very important, but let's talk, if we may, for a moment about the Durban Conference, right. because that looks as if it may turn into a gathering place for all of the anti-Semites and anti-Israel sentiment in the world. Is it your belief that, that Israel and uh, European countries should break up the conference, or rather go there and make their voices heard? Listen, first of all, we have to have a little bit more information, mm -hmm. but we are completely ready to join the position of Tsipi Livni and to convince the majority of European countries to boycott this event in case we have any danger of the uh, anti-Israeli trend there. The thing is that this year is the year of human rights. The United Nations declared this year mm -hmm. because it's the 60th anniversary of the uh, general declaration of human rights this year. And this is a UN-sponsored conference, we must remember. Yes. This is a big contradiction, and that's why we have to react. Mm -hmm. And we'll do our best to, to have uh, a very specific and very strong answer to this. Okay, and one more quick question, because unfortunately we're almost out of time. About the drop in Aliyah figures, we just heard that last year's figure was the lowest in 20 years. Do you see any sign that this may be changing, at least in Europe? Uh, you know, I think this trend coming from Eastern European countries, and mm -hmm. I think uh, the authorities in Israel should do something very specific mm -hmm. to attract especially Eastern European countries and to make this Aliyah more comfortable for them. Okay. I think this is the reason. Okay. But uh, we have very good chance to, to make uh, Aliyah better. You know how? Very good. We have 60, you know? 60 years of University of the State of Israel. Mm -hmm. Ask some guests to, to stay in Israel, and that's it. You will have a very good idea. <laughs> Absolutely. Moshe Kant, it's been such a pleasure having you. Thank you, you very, very much. much indeed. Thank you.